Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Colorado, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, offering the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is C13176. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, we'll have a nice hidden cross tube most of the way across here, not really hanging down a lot. The part you are going to see be our safety chain connection points here, and of course our receiver tube opening. You got nice large open connection points. Chain shouldn't be an issue. You should be able to get those connected, whatever type they are. Then you'll see our 5 8 diameter pinhole there for securing all of our items. You can see we've got good room in here. So I think whatever type of accessory that you were going to secure your item with would be able to fit, whether it's a hitch pin and clip, locking hitch pin, or anti rattle device. You can see the flush reinforcement collar here goes around the end. I like the look of this one. You know, it's pretty much even with the bumper, so I don't think you'll have any issues with bumping into it or things like that as you're walking around. Now, as far as tow ratings are concerned, we're going to have an 800-pound tongue weight rating, so that's going to be the maximum downward force we'll put here at the receiver tube opening, and it offers an 8,000-pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the total weight of our trailer and anything that we load up on it. If we go into weight distribution, our tongue weight will go up to 1,000 pounds, and the gross trailer weight rating, that's going to go up to 10,000 pounds, but you definitely want to check the owner's manual on the Colorado, see what its ratings are, and you go off of whichever of those will be the lowest. Now, a couple of measurements that are going to be helpful in selecting your ball mounts, bike racks, or hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. It's about 19 and a half inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about two and a half. Now you can see here to begin our installation, we've removed our spare tire. It usually lives right here. And to do our installation, we need to remove the four bolts. We've got two down here and then two up on the side of the frame rail on each side. Now that supports the cross member that runs across the back here, but that also supports the bumper. I'm just gonna use a couple of cam buckle straps here. We want to make sure that we're supporting our bumper and pulling it towards the front of the car and also that we've got it supported from the bottom. Use a couple of straps for that one on each side and then I'm using a couple of pole jacks because we're working on a lift but you could use jack stands at home. If we look right behind the rear spring perch here we're going to see those two bolts that we're going to remove but right here on that cross member there's a little Christmas tree fastener that holds some wiring in place. So let's pop that loose. We don't want to pull down on that when we remove it. And we also need to take out the four bolts here in the middle. One, two, three, and four. That'll get rid of this brace. For this, we'll use a 13 millimeter socket. See, so on each of the whole locations here in the front, we've got a couple P-clips. So we'll pull those off. The ones in the back we can leave in place. That's going to be coming off with the cross member. All right, now we'll start with our bolts on the bottom here. We'll leave that in just a couple of threads so when we take out our side bolts, that'll have some support. Now we'll go over to the driver's side and do the same thing there. Now we'll move to the ones that we've got on the side here. Also, we'll leave one on each side, just hand tight there. And now we'll go over to the other side and do the same thing there. Now you'll see here where our cross member, it fits up between the outer bumper bracket, which is right here, and the frame rail. That's right where our hitch is gonna be going right back into. Start taking our bolts out that we left threaded in. You see where it slides in right there? Just bring that right down and out. All right, now with an extra set of hands, we'll get our hitch raised into position. We're gonna reuse our factory hardware in all eight of the holes. So let's just slide the flange. You can see the flange that sticks up here. We talked about that. 
Bring that right up in our slot. Get it to where it's aligned and then we'll thread our hardware in. Get one started on this side. That'll support it there. Then we can get one started on our other side. All right, once we've got two of those started, that'll support our hitch while we get the rest of our hardware in place. Now with the four bottom bolts in place, we're just gonna snug these up a little bit just to bring our hitch up closer to our frame. And we'll grab our other four fasteners and get those started in the holes on the side. Now we're gonna go through and snug up our hardware here. Now we're going to look in our instructions. You'll want to find your torque specifications and torque all eight fasteners down appropriately. With everything torqued down, we can remove our jack stands and our straps from our bumper. Then we'll put our spare back in position. With our spare tire back in place, that completes our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13176, on our 2016 Chevrolet Colorado.